Nigeria, community development campaigners have struggled to find a lasting solution to poverty in their respective communities, but could not until the late 90s. But today, thousands of non-profit community development organizations operate with the mindset of bringing development to the people. They have helped in stabilizing community life and social life. Welcome to today's episode of Lagos Community Updates. I am Adejoke Shodendi Adenyoju. Join me as we see communities in action. Fani awarawa at the fun bubu fun ti Lagos State you know ni ijoba ole se bubu e fun aton amo amo ta ba gbe omo to ba gbe pa ni ya e gbe so nigba ta ti ri pe an lati se die 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 bo ya ti ijoba ba ri o le ran lowo lati be yen la se try agbara wa ta nse won ba ta le se ki awon mo wa le ri bi joko si kan le ri bi riran lale when the Todd Mayland Bridge was commissioned in 1990, it led to the emergence of a new community. The residents showed the premium they placed on their senior citizens by naming the new community Foro Lagba, meaning consult the elders. A suburb of Ifakok Bagada under the Kashafa local government area. Forolagba is small but large in numbers. Members of the community believe that there are over 20,000 residents. Despite this large number, there is peace and order. I've been living in Forolagba now for the past 10 years. Forolagba is a peaceful place. In fact, both the landlord, the landlady, they are, they are all friendly. To be sincere, it's a very peaceful place. It's a swampy area, but thank God today, uh, the swampy stuff have you know, been things of the past. However, it was a place threatened by darkness. <music> Workers arriving late from work dread to step into the neighborhood. Early risers were afraid of Urging mugging them. A solution had to be found. The prayer on the lips of the resident was, let there be light. We believe without light, there's nothing in the community because once it's seven, everywhere is dark. And there's no way we can leave the community without light. Then whereby the so-called CDA try to get the street light, inverter, and the generator. You know, if there is no MEPA light, we can easily power our, uh, power our inverter with generator. And since, since then, we've been enjoying light during the night. Once it's seven, we put on the inverter if there's no light. Then if there's no light, maybe within three, four days, then we put on our gen to power the inverter so that we can enjoy the light. Every night, there's light in our community. Frolagba is the kind, kind of place that in the night, around 7 o'clock, you can't send your children outside because they'll be thinking sometimes they may not, it may not be light. But now when they install the street light, you can send them out around 7 o'clock, even till 8 o'clock. Sometimes if there's no light, they will want generator to make sure that everywhere is okay. Coming of CDA, we are able to achieve uh, the street light. At least there is light everywhere. So it's like we light, we're lighting up a community that was in the darkness then. So that was how it was then. So it wasn't bright as it is then. So I would just see that we can't go on this kind of a lifestyle. I would just have to move on. And we need to leave the old age and move on with the 21st century. Uh, several years ago, like six, five years ago, if you came to this place around this area, and of course, when there is no light, you discover that uh, this place is almost a no-go area because of total darkness and, uh, you know, 
And if, if, if we don't do something like this, you give opportunity even for you know, uh, people with questionable characters to operate even in the night. But I want to believe through the effort of uh, the CDA, the community people around there, they have been able to transform this place. So it was a thing of joy when we saw something like this, because at the end of the day, you see uh, this thing giving life even to people around, and the place has really been transformed because of this flood light. Realizing this, the executive members of the Community Development Association in their bid to make life easier for residents raised millions of naira to buy and install street lights to make the community accessible for both the young and old. It was a great transformation. I didn't think I do go budget because security tani tinobawa akwa ale ba le lati da marin o le so pe ibi ba isoko je ati wa wa awon mo buku asoro that's why i say she gbugbe ta se e ati se street light e the street light is very good because that time we are in that total darkness but as soon as there is light when they knew pe there is light um, somebody is locking in the darkness they will move away after we feel the something but so far so far so good all is well for artisans and petty traders, the impact of this noble exercise is immeasurable. I fancy na yin se fun mi opo. Nitori ti a ba wa nle mo shop ni wa number 1, mo de ngbe number 10. Ti ba wa nle, ti ba fe ran mo ni se ko mi ma ba le. Nitori pe ina yi o wa nbe opolopo awon CDA foro lagba. To ba se na yi shop mi de lele. Ti mo ba wa shop ni biru wo yi si ti mo ba to generator. Ina e o ma mo leje shop ni so ma ri bi sha won kon mi. The light has really really been a tremendous help to the people of the community. As you can see, the whole place is bright and in terms of security, especially in the middle of the night because we also have security that works up and down in the night to check everything. So this light has really helped the security. The security aspect of it and also individual because the road if you look at the road the road is not that good so when you're driving the night or when people are walking to their houses every night they need this they use this light to, to see the road and to also know the path to their house so it has been a tremendous help to the people who live in this environment despite knowing that part of government responsibility is to secure lives and property for Olagba community wants to do more to make life better for residents. It is calling on well-meaning Nigerians, corporate organizations to extend their hands of fellowship to the community. I just want to appeal because uh, if, you, if, you are, if you are privileged to do something for somebody, why not come to that person's aid? So I just want to appeal to well-meaning Nigerians to come to our aid to assist in doing the drainage. All we want is drainage and the road. The corporate organization, if they can assist, we really appreciate. And um, if I can tell you, once my community people hear anything drainage, you will see the smile on their face because these are the major challenges that we are having. They should come and help us, most especially gutter, because when it's rain, the floor sometimes used to disturb us. But immediately the rain stop, the flood will go. But at least if they can come, all those private organizations, there's some certain things they can do. Or like Gotsa to tie our streets will be very grateful. The government will not be able to do everything. Even when we can always say that we pay taxes, we do this, we do that. Even in developed countries and other places, you still see corporate organizations, you know, uh, giving helping hand even to the government. And of course, you can do some things to the road or, you know, provide some amenities to help the people around it, that area. So this is, my, this is my belief, not just as a church, but even as a people.